You unplugged my connection to the telescope! Is that bad? Oh, shit! What do I do? Plug it back in! Hurry or we're gonna miss it! Sorry! Let me walk on it a little bit. I'm sure that'll make it work again. <laughs> there, how's that? System reset. Is it working again? Oh, come on. Don't do this to me now. What's going on? The whole system's resetting. Oh, we're gonna miss it. Um, what can I do? I've got to recalibrate, recalibrate the capture software. You go to the terminal there, and I'll give you the instructions on how to enter the coordinates. Okay. Uh, okay. This? Okay. Okay, so what do I do now? Alright. It's looking for the coordinates again. I'm going to call out some numbers. You punch them in as needed. Okay. Alright, first one's 11. Oh shit, do I do this? 11, got it. Next one's 10. Oh, shit, it stays. Ten, it worked. Third one's supposed to be 56. Okay. 56, all right. Now punch in 64. Gotcha. Please be done. Almost done. 68. <laughs> Inputted. No more. No more. Ah, fuck. No more. Oh, I'm gonna screw this up. 72. All done. Hey, the picture's back! Uh. Hey, the picture's back. Are you... So, is it working now? Damn, I think we missed it. Missed what? There's a comet passing by Earth tonight that only swings by every thousand years or so. Oh, shit. That's bad. A comet? Yeah, big chunk of space rock hurtling through the universe without a single care. I was hoping to get one of the first photos of it for the news, but I guess that's not going to happen. Holy crap, we just fucked up. We just fucked up super big. It's a shame, too. That really would have helped justify the expense of this old piece of junk. Oh, I'm sorry. Can we recalibrate it and try again? Ah, uh, there's no point. I'm sure every dimwit with a telescope's got some sort of picture of it by now. Seriously, it's been like 45 seconds. Shit, is there anything I can do to make, up, make it up? I don't think so. I really don't. You know, swings by every thousand years or so. Ah, uh, don't sweat it. If there's one thing I've learned studying the Big Bad Universe all these years, it's that you simply can't control all the variables. Like being a klutz. No matter how much you prepare or how uncertain you are of the way things are going to turn out, the inherent chaos of the cosmos will ensue. Ain't that the truth. Even in isolation, we can't escape the randomness of the universe. Something always goes wrong. I'm Professor Radford, by the way, and you are not one of my students, if memory serves. What brings you all the way up here? We're not enrolling new students this late in the semester, but you handled the machines well enough. I think I could bend the rules. Oh, hi. I'm Glory. And, uh, no, I'm in the literature program already. Ah, one of McAllister's students. How you could stand him, I'll never know. That's pretty funny. That another professor would say that. I'm actually here looking for someone. Well, my friend's looking for someone. Some guy, he's supposed to be in here helping you set up for a class or something? Oh, you must be talking for what? You must be looking for Gabriel. It's Gabriel? Oh my god. Oh my god! This is... Uh, oh my god. Sam likes Gabriel. And we end up with Gabriel. And the wedding invitation might be Gabriel and Sam. Oh my god, the drama! Oh, you must be looking for Gabriel. Oh, I feel so... Oh my gosh, this isn't gonna go well. So he's gonna fall for us instead. I sent him downstairs to hand out some flyers. I'm trying to get the students more interested in our classes. Tuition's falling through the floor. 
You sure you don't want to register? Thanks, but my course load's already stacked. Hey, whatever you say. Just remember that there's a lot more to learn than whatever you're finding in McAllister's book club. But, I suppose to each their own. Now if you'll excuse me, I've got to send a rather disappointing message to the Daily News Times. She's like, no, it's alright, you just cost me like thousands and thousands of dollars. But it's cool. Wow, that sucks. I heard these cabinets hold all the stuff you need to make Chris. <laughs> wow, Glory, good job. Huh, looks like they keep these locked pretty tightly. For good reason. Lame, how come our room doesn't get water fountains? That's all water fountain. Oh, that's eye wash. Stupid. I've always wondered what a fire extinguisher is actually filled with. Uh, I think that's all there is to look at here. Maybe this. What is this? I guess this is the receiver for the telescope? Can't see much from the back of this monitor. Well, click! Can I turn the lights off? Ah! I did! Hey, quit playing with the light switch! <laughs> That's pretty funny that they'd even add that. That's really cool. Alright, so we gotta go tell her the uh, where'd she go? Oh! It was a relatively contained fire, but the police completely overreacted. Still, the best weekend ever! Uh, is that him? Speak of the devil! Gabriel, meet Glory! Did I just walk into the middle of something? It's Gabriel! Look at him cute! It's a cute face! Oh, not at all! Nice to meet you! Sam was just telling me about you! Sam! Why, why would you... Why would you... Share a room, right? Yeah, we're writing a book together, too! We're gonna be millionaires! Just wait! Off a book? Uh, well, maybe a couple of them. Just wait, you'll see. Turns out Gabriel is quite the space cadet. What? He was just telling me all about this comet that's supposed to be swinging by tonight. Yeah, this one's supposed to be really close, too, so it should make for some spectacular photos. Professor Radford's been trying to get an early shot of it before it hits our orbit for the news, so the school's equipment is all booked up. Uh, how about that? It's going to be so exciting to see something shot with the school's equipment in the paper. Uh, yeah. <laughs> in the paper, you say? Ah, uh, sounds exciting. Sounds exciting. It really is. With the publicity from it, we might even be able to afford to keep it operational for another year. Oh, dear. I was thinking of heading out to the bluffs tonight with my personal gear to try and get some photos of it for myself. It won't be the first photos, but I should be able to catch it when it's closer to our orbit, which should produce something brilliant. You know, I don't really have anything planned for after class. Maybe I could come with you, give you a hand. Really? That would be magnificent. Magnificent? Yeah, why not? It could be a lot of fun. Maybe we could get to know each other a little better. Oh, that sounds awesome. Um, you should both come. Uh, <laughs> oh, uh, Glory has this essay due. Probably wouldn't be smart to tag along. Uh, that's totally, totally obvious. You're supposed to let me say that. Isn't that right, Glory? Oh, you can do an essay any day. You're never going to get another shot at this. It is a pretty big essay. Ah! Uh, this is so difficult because I know that we're gonna end up with him. I know we're gonna end up with him. Ah! But I don't want it to be like this. Uh, I've got. Uh, oh fuck! I really don't want to move in on. I've got to finish it. I've really got to get it finished. Professor McAllister would have my head if it was late, and I can't afford to let my mark slip. Oh, that's really too bad. Ah, uh, don't sweat it. More fun for us, right? Dude, you're, you're coming off so... <laughs> oh, before I forget, you got my meal card? Glory's broke, so I buy the food. Oh, thanks. Yeah, still haven't got my nachos, though. Well, we can go grab them now if you want. Care to join us, Gabriel? Should probably head inside on check and check on things. 
I've got class shortly, too, so I'll pass. I'll see you tonight, though. No problem. Oh, hey. No sweat. See you at the bluffs. It was really nice meeting you. Uh, ha 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 ha. Uh, you too. <laughs> what the hell was that? What do you mean? What do you mean, what the hell was what? What was the, what, what the hell was with you? What do you mean? It was really nice to meet you, Glory. You should come, Gl Wait, what? You should come, Glory. I want to smother my face in your tits, Glory. What the fuck? I didn't do anything. I didn't do anything. It's like he didn't even notice me. I did nothing. I did all the right things. Look at those two people who were talking in the hallway. They're just staring at us now. What the fuck? What is your problem? I did everything. Am I ugly or something? No, she's actually quite cute. Seriously, I don't get it. I, I, whoa, whoa, whoa. Relax there, would ya? He was just being nice. I'm sure it meant nothing. Don't get so bent out of shape. You still got a date tonight, don't you? Yeah, you're right. Plenty of time to make up ground. Hey, this isn't a contest. Yeah, don't you forget that. Don't be a bitch! I did nothing! Hey, let's go get those nachos. I am getting hungry. Wow. Make me a promise, though, would you? Uh-oh. What's that? No matter what happens, nothing tears us apart? Of course, you're my best friend. Alright. We cool? We cool. Huh. That's, uh, hopefully that's done because my voice is very, very tired from all that reading. So, uh, I, I have a bad feeling about the relationship between Hello, I love you. Nice. Achievement. Oh, you can't see that, but I unlocked an achievement. It says, hello, I love you. Why do I always have to dream of him? Such a vivid dream, too. It's not fair. I don't even know if he's happy. Come to think of it, I never even called when I got the invite. Heh. <laughs> I still remember his number after all. You wrote down Gabriel's phone number. Don't call him! Maybe I should give him a call before I go any further. It's not too late to turn back. Oh my god, that's scary. That prospect is so freaking scary. Rise and shine, Glory. Oh, you're already up. Actually, I was thinking about going back to bed. Not a chance. You've got a big day ahead of you. Come on out of the patio. I want you to see something. Is it breakfast? Really? Do we have to do this now, Larry? Yes, absolutely. Can I make a call first? Who the hell are you going to call at this hour? Come on, it can wait for when we get to the office. Fine, I'm coming. Oh, pff. Alright, I'm out here. What did you want to show me? Got a real shitty attitude, you know that? Well, you dragged me out of bed at the crack of dawn. What did you expect? Oh. I'm sorry. Are you having a nice dream? Ugh. Here, let me get you some coffee. Maybe some caffeine will make you tolerable. Yes! Always does. Thanks. It's working already. Alright, alright. What did you bring me out here for? I still don't know what we're doing today. Right now, we're watching the sunrise. Are you kidding me? You woke me up for a sunrise? Yeah, and? I could be sleeping, that's what. Tell me, Glory, when was the last time you saw the sun come up? When was the last time it wasn't almost noon before you got out of bed? I don't know, probably when I was in school? Sam and I used to get so wrapped up in our work, we'd pull all-nighters without even realizing it. There was this one time we set our alarms really early for an exam. We, 
they wound up going off before we even went to bed. We were completely exhausted through the test. Totally bombed. Didn't matter though, because we were together. I know what you're getting at, by the way. But you can say the hypocrisy, thank you very much. I come out here every single morning, so thank yourself very much. This view is about the only thing I actually care about in this apartment. Excuse me for wanting to share that with someone. I've got a wife, you know. Ever think she might appreciate an invitation? Linda doesn't appreciate much anymore. She's too well fed, you know what I mean? This easy life, it spoiled her. Well, how's she gonna handle the uh, bankruptcy? Well, who's to blame for that? Me, I guess. Well, also her. I sold her this life so she'd love me. That's kinda sad. But, she was also a bitch when we first met her. It ruined everything. This music is so not appropriate for the mood. Sad part is, I'd do it all again if I could. Just to have her a little longer. What is wrong with you? Can't chase that good feeling forever though, Glory. Everything burns down eventually. That's sad. Everything burns down eventually. You really love her, huh? Of course I do. Why? Why do you love her? She's horrible. She puts you down. That's why I can't let go. No matter how low that choice makes me sink. Yeah. I think I understand. Oh, pretty. Ah, And the sun rises on another glorious day. Very nice. So this is where all the magic happens, huh? I always expected the publishing office to be a little more glamorous, you know? Well, this is technically just our warehouse. The actual office is closer to downtown. What are we doing here, then? Ah, oh, I can't take much more of this dialogue! This is the job I was talking to you about. We've got a real situation on our hands with the strike right now and need the help. These orders aren't going to fill themselves, and we can't afford to stagnate. Orders? You mean I'm shipping books out to stores or something? Well, not exactly. The company's selling off unused slipcovers and spines to a pulping plant overseas in China. It's a decent way to recoup, recoup some of the losses, and we get a big environmental tax credit. Do you get a big tax credit for sending it overseas? Heh, <laughs> paper doesn't grow on trees, you know. Ah! <laughs> Ah, you Larry, you Larry, you. When you said you'd have work for me, I figured it'd be in a in. I figure it'd be in my wheelhouse, you know, putting letters into words, words into sentences, so on and so forth. Come on, Glory, you had your chance already. How many times do you expect me to stick my neck out for you? Wait, you said unused slip covers? You're kidding me, right? You're literally having me pulp my own failures? Wait! Slip co What the fuck, Larry? Um... I doubt it! I doubt they would be our own slipcovers, seriously. Well, the boxes are sealed. I'll leave the mystery up to you. Exactly. You're not our only failure on- on- You're not the on You're not our only failure on our books, you know? Right, because being the worst of the worst would still mean I'm the best at something. Hey, you alright? Yeah, I'm fine. I'll give you a minute to change and meet you downstairs. There's uniform in the lockers over there. The foreman's kind of particular about it, so do me a favor. Do me, do me the favor of playing along. Whatever. Hey, maybe think of this as a new start. We're still a team, you know? Uh, are we? Really? Also, did you forget that we need to get to, uh... San Verdano? Sure feels like it. Sarcasm. Ha! Don't give me that, Glory. You're mad at yourself, not at me. 
We're still a team, right? Are we? Not really. Not, not really. But I'll just say yeah, I guess. To be nice. Yeah, I guess. Alright, cool. Take a minute to collect yourself. I'll see you in five. Thank goodness. Phone's by the coffee maker if you still want to use it. Or if you still need it. Excellent. We have control again. I'm going to save and my voice needs a little break. So, hope you enjoyed all that story mode and everything. And I'll see you next time.